Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForAver.com and today we have two of HTC's top phones. The 2012 flagship, the HTC One X and HTC's first 1080p phone, the HTC Butterfly aka Troy DNA. The Troy DNA and the Butterfly aren't exactly the same phones, there are four differences between them. One, the HTC Butterfly comes with a microSD card slot that the Troy DNA doesn't. Two, three and four, the Troy DNA supports NFC wireless charging and 4G which the butterfly doesn't. I am using a HTC butterfly in this video but if you're looking for information on the Droid DNA everything is the same apart from these four differences. So now that we've got that out of the way let's go ahead and check out what's changed from the One X to the butterfly and whether it's actually worth upgrading from the One X to the butterfly. Let's start with the build and design. First off, the HTC One X is a beautiful, beautiful phone. It's got a unibody design. What that means is the phone is made out of one sheet of polycarbonate that's been beaten into shape. So everything you see on this phone, right from the hole for the camera to the speaker grill, it's been drilled onto the polycarbonate. The HTC Butterfly, on the other hand, has a glossy back on the white version, metal stripes on the sides, and brushed metal for the power button and volume rockers. I really like the way both phones are built. Holding both phones in the hand, you actually feel like you're holding a premium product. So as far as build goes, HTC hasn't cut any corners with regards to either device. What's great about the HTC Butterfly is the fact that it's got a 5 inch display that's 0.3 inches more than the HTC One X. But still, it's just 0.6 millimeters wider and 0.2 millimeters thicker. But keep in mind it's a whopping 8.6 millimeters taller. Also note that the Butterfly has a curved back. This is because of the pyramid-like stacking of the components that HTC has resorted to with the butterfly. The biggest components at the bottom, smaller ones on top and the smallest ones even further on top. So what this means to you as an end user is that when you pick up the HTC butterfly, it feels a lot slimmer than it really is. So this is a definite plus for the HTC butterfly. The larger surface area leads to the weight being distributed evenly and though the butterfly is 10 grams heavier than the One X, it doesn't really feel any heavier. Well, let's talk a little bit about button placements here. Both phones have the volume rockers to the right and power buttons on top. This means every time you need to wake the device, you need to maneuver the device in hand and hit the power button. What has changed this time around is that the power button is more to the center with the HTC Butterfly. Well, if you're gonna leave the power button on top, the center placement feels a little better. Another thing to note is that the micro USB port has not been moved from the left to the bottom. And this is something that I really like because it feels a lot easier to pick up a phone with a charge cable running from the bottom than one with a charge cable running from the left. Also note that the micro USB port and the micro SIM slash micro SD card slot are covered by flaps on the HTC Butterfly. This is due to the phone being dust and splash resistant. Yeah, you heard me right, it's splash resistant. You cannot drop it in water like the Xperia Z but still you get a few splashes of water on it. It's a safe bet that your phone is still gonna work. One of the biggest differences between these two phones is the display. First, let's talk about the HTC One X. The HTC One X has a 4.7 inch Super LCD 2 display with a resolution of 720p. This translates to a pixel density of 312 pixels per inch. The display is really bright, vibrant, it's got great color reproduction and the viewing angles are nothing short of amazing. With the butterfly, HTC have gone ahead and done the impossible. They've improved upon an already amazing display. The 5 inch Super LCD 3 display used here is a full HD display that is a resolution of 1920 pixels this way by 1080 pixels this way. That gives the display a mind blowing pixel density of 441 pixels per inch. Again, everything I said about the HTC One X's display holds true here. It's got great viewing angles, great color reproduction. It might be a tad bit less bright compared to the HTC One X but that doesn't really matter. In a real life scenario, unless and until you're holding both phones side by side, you're not gonna see a difference. And best of all, 441 pixels per inch means extreme sharpness. Whether it's reading a book, browsing or watching a full HD video, it's a really pleasurable experience on the HTC Butterfly. Not to take anything away from the One X, the display on the Butterfly is just mind blowing. Now let's talk a little bit more about the specs. Both phones are powered by quad-core processors clocked at 1.5 GHz. The HTC One X, a Tegra 3 processor, whereas the HTC Butterfly, a Snapdragon Pro. The HTC One X has a ULP GeForce GPU, the Butterfly, Adreno 320. The Butterfly also has double the amount of RAM. As far as internal storage goes, the HTC One X is available in 16 and 32 gig variants, whereas the Butterfly ships with only 16 gigs on board. But then again, keep in mind that the Butterfly does give you a micro SD expansion slot that the HTC One X doesn't. As far as battery goes, 
The way these phones are built does not allow HTC to add a user replaceable battery. So both phones have batteries that are built into them. The HTC One X an 1800 mAh battery and the HTC Butterfly a 2020 mAh battery. It is also worth noting that the HTC Butterfly has two notification lights, one in the front and one in the back. So this is something you're going to either love or hate depending on how you look at it because there's no way to turn off one of these notification lights individually. You can either leave them both on or turn them both off. The HTC One X on the other hand just has one notification light near the speaker grill. Let's talk a little bit about cameras. Both the One X and the Butterfly have almost identical 8 megapixel rear cameras. That's not necessarily a bad thing for the Butterfly since the HTC One X has one of the best cameras in a mobile device today. One place where these cameras differ is when it comes to video recording. While both the One X and the Butterfly can shoot 1080p videos, the One X can only do it at 24 frames per second, whereas the Butterfly can do it at 30 frames per second. Also note that there is no camera pump on the Butterfly as with the One X. Barring these minor differences, there's nothing to tell these cameras apart. But coming to the front-facing cameras, it's a whole different story. The One X uses a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera, whereas the Butterfly uses a wide-angle 2.1 megapixel front-facing camera. A wide-angle camera on the Butterfly means that the front-facing camera here can capture a lot more of your surroundings than the one found on the One X. This is especially useful for video calls and self-portraits. Again, notice that the front camera on the One X can only shoot 720p video, whereas the one found on the Butterfly can shoot 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. Let's talk a little bit about the software. The HTC One X originally shipped with Android Ice Cream Sandwich out of the box, but has recently been updated to Android Jelly Bean 4.1.1 with HTC Zone Sense Overlay Sense 4 Plus on top. This is exactly what the Butterfly ships with, Android Jelly Bean 4.1.1 with Sense 4 Plus on top. So as far as software goes, the experience is identical barring some wallpapers and skins that are exclusive to the Butterfly. Keep in mind that pulling down the notification bar, which is an integral part of Android, is a little harder to do on the HTC Butterfly given its increased height. Both phones are fast, smooth, responsive and have absolutely no lag. Well, while we are here, let's also compare the speaker quality. So this is the One X. So as you can see, as far as speakers go, the Butterfly has an improved and louder speaker. Both phones have Beats Audio Enhancement, so as far as playback through the headphones goes, they're on par. The extra gig of RAM for the Butterfly comes in handy when playing some highly intensive games. The One X, as mentioned earlier, ships with a 1800 mAh battery, whereas the Butterfly ships with a 2020 mAh battery. But then again, though the Butterfly has a bigger battery, it also has a lot more pixels to render. So in theory, the battery life is supposed to be on par. But fortunately, the Snapdragon Pro found on the Butterfly is not as power hungry as the Tegra 3 found on the One X. So as far as battery life goes, yes, the Butterfly does give you a better battery life than the One X. While numbers don't mean everything, I still went ahead and ran a few popular benchmarks. And as expected, the Butterfly performed better than the One X on both Antutu and Quadrant Standard. So guys, the last part of this comparison is pricing. As far as pricing goes, the HTC One X 16 gigs unlocked sells for about $400 today, whereas the HTC Butterfly sells for $650. So there is a difference of $250 unlocked. So despite the higher price tag and despite the lack of NFC, is the HTC Butterfly a phone worth getting today? Well, the answer is yes and no. If you're upgrading from any of last gen for any of the last gen phones, say for example the Galaxy S3 or the HTC One X itself. Uh, I'd say wait a little bit, see, let's see what the uh, Galaxy, how the Galaxy S4 turns out to be and even the HTC One for that matter. Uh, but if you're in the market today for a 1080p phone, then if you can look past the price tag of the HTC Butterfly, then it's a great phone. And the, as far as the One X goes, again, it's a different price range. If you're looking for, if you're looking for a phone in the $400 price segment, then the One X is a great buy as well because both phones have great displays to be honest. So if you guys want to get either of these phones, you can get them from Amazon. The direct links are in the description. Uh, and uh, what, do you, what do you guys think, uh, especially with the S4 and the HTC One coming out and Xperia Z already out? 
Uh, what do you think? Do you think the HTC Butterfly is a phone worth getting today? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And uh, before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, very important. <laughs> Anyway, uh, if there is any video that you'd like to see, uh, if you have any video requests for me, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So that's pretty much it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you guys soon with more videos. And yeah, I will be comparing the Butterfly with the HTC One and the S4 as well. So stay subscribed. I'll see you guys soon. Till then, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.